Okay guys, here's the MyFly Dream Auto antenna tracker system. Uh, it's got the newest version, Teleflight OSD. And that's the, you know, the yellow board version. Uh, what I did also is I used the GPS unit from my uh, Cyclops OSD. I had an extra GPS unit, so I just used that. Didn't have any issues at all with that. It was actually pretty simple to use. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just basically go over the basic quick setup for you guys show you how to get this thing going um, so let's start with the the GPS wiring and um, Fox Tech actually has a good wiring diagram on their website um, for the the G OSD unit for the GPS unit for the uh, Cyclops OSD um, anyway so the, the way it goes is the the outside red and the outside black wire those both get soldered together and they um, go to the on the wire harness side on the OSD they go to the orange uh, power line on your OSD wire harness side um, the next wire in from your uh, your GPS unit is your uh, ground so that'll just go to a black wire on your um, wire harness there solder that on there and then the next wire in on that GPS um, wiring is your signal line and that's going to get soldered to your green line on the wire harness side. Um, the nice thing about the new yellow board version is this thing can be powered by your 12 volt LiPo battery. It uh, doesn't overheat. Um, so uh, you know your black and your red wire is your power wire on the wire harness side. So what I did is I just soldered a JST connector to that so that I can plug that into my 12 volt battery. Um, and I power my video transmitter camera and the OSD all off a separate uh, 12 volt LiPo. Um, your blue and black wire is obviously connected to your set home button. Uh, nice, nice button works well. Your white wire on the OSD wire harness goes to your audio line on your video transmitter. Um, and then in this setup, we're now using the uh, yellow wire here that's unused at this time. Um, so what I did is uh, over on the on the other side of the OSD unit is uh, your video overlay wires. The top yellow wire is your video in, the middle black is a ground and the bottom yellow wire is the video out. So you know top yellow wire uh, the video in that's the one coming that's the one you're gonna solder to your video camera. Uh, you know a ground and the bottom video out you're gonna solder to your video transmitter so what I did is I actually just soldered a, a female servo end here to those wires um, you know so that I can easily collect my connect my video equipment and then what I did on the um, for my video transmitter and my camera is I just soldered a you know, mel serv servo connector to that. The ground goes to the uh, video transmitter ground. Um, one of the wires goes to the video line on the camera, and one of the wires goes to the video line on the transmitter. So then those plug into the corresponding spot on the female line, um, going to the video overlay stuff on the OSD. So that works well. Well, one thing to mention about the wire harness on the OSD, just be sure that. You know when you're plugging it in that you've got the orientation with the that red wire on the wire harness being down on the bottom side here um, so that that's hooked up the right way okay guys so this is the you know the tracker unit mounted onto the tripod um, the driver mounted onto the side so you know your your tracker module will connect to the driver here with the uh, the cable on this end um, you got your power on this side and your driver is your home button and your video out on this end um, on the other plug side is your test button um, so you can do your initial testing uh, comes with you know all the nice power cable already made um, to set up the the tracker unit to your uh, video receiver so you know the obvious audio video and power on this end and then this end will go to my video receiver um, got a really nice uh, patch antenna from the guys at RC, readymaderc.com. Excellent products from these guys. Anyways, nice patch antenna. The way I'm setting it up is I got the receiver mounted on the back side. Um, 
you know this will obviously get mounted onto the the tracker plate here um, you know and then I've got my you know the plug end of my antenna will just go onto the plug end of my uh, video receiver here um, so you know just mount it on securely with the way I have it mounted with the receiver on top makes the top kind of top heavy um, so mount that thing on securely I, what I did is just some a double sided tape on the back side and and a couple of screws um, anyways this unit works really nicely uh, I'll show you the quick setup on on a pre-flight check and getting a flight going here 